Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David, and this is a Magic Review. Next up is Awestruck from Adam Elbaum and Vanishing Incorporated. Awestruck is a really cool new mentalism prediction routine where a spectator is able to just think, think of any card and then magically a post-it note is in your wallet with the handwritten prediction. It works every single time. It's practically self-working. You get tons of great material in this awestruck. Six of heart. Nine of heart. Beautiful. Ten of spades. Eight of hearts. Ten of heart. Perfect. Pocket. No, perfect. In my, not in my pocket, in my wallet, behind this flap. I wrote on a prediction. That's pretty reckless. Um, <laughs> what? That's awesome. How? Hmm. In my wallet, on a post note, behind this flap, I wrote prediction. <laughs> Wait a minute. No. Written on a post note before this trick even started. Behind this flap, I wrote on a post note the. Uh, <laughs> oh, right. That's nice. The side! Almost like magic. No way! Yeah. Can I touch it? Yeah, here, you can have it if you want. Prediction. That's so weird. Yeah, okay. That's cool. I almost changed the halfway though. I know. That's crazy. You. you know? <laughs> yeah, of course I know. If I was going to really do card magic, I'd say think of a card. I would tell you I have a post it note that I wrote a prediction on in my wallet that hopefully says your card. If it does, that would be like magic, wouldn't it? Amazing. Well, let's see what happens. All right. I want you to think of a card in a moment, not yet. Uh, I will tell you in advance, most women especially pick either aces or queens. You can pick those if you want, but preferably don't because I want this to seem completely impossible, all right? So look into my eyes. Got a card? What card do you think you have? Eight of hearts. Perfect. And do you think the ace of hearts influenced you? Do you want to change your mind or do you want the eight of hearts? It was a free choice, right? It, you, you don't feel that I influenced your decision in any way. No. Nope. Fair enough. Well, I told you I have a prediction in my wallet. I want to show you. Now, if that's prediction on the post-it note says your card, that would be magic, right? <laughs> your card. Well, I said it, I want to show you the difference between a trick and magic. And I said I would write it on the post-it note, but I never said I would write it on the front. That's because I wrote it on the back. Ah. <laughs> So that was Adam Elbaum and Vanishing Incorporated. Okay, so a couple questions we always ask about all of our magic reviews, and the first of which is, what is in the box? What's in the box? You're getting a really big box. It's a thick cardboard box, and then inside that, you're gonna get a special, very special deck of cards. Uh, it's not gimmicks or gaffed anyway, but it's just a special deck of cards. You're gonna get a really high quality uh, leather wallet, and then you're gonna get a small little batch of post-it notes. Other than that, the only thing you'll need is a pen, and uh, you're good to go. Is it what I thought? It's not what I thought at all. Uh, I had ideas about how you would do the load, and of course, you know, it's it's a card load, just like any other card to wallet trick. So, you know, if you're already familiar with card to wallets, you're going to be familiar with this load. Okay, you're going to be familiar with how the gimmick gets into the wallet. All right. So, but uh, I didn't know what to think because I'd never seen, uh, you know, I've seen card to wallets and I've never seen a post-it note to wallet. So I was pleasantly surprised uh, when I saw it, kind of chuckled to myself because I was like, oh, okay, of course, that's how you get it in there. And I don't know why I didn't think of that, but yeah, there it is. That said, because it is a standard card to wallet trick, uh, how are the angles? They're gonna be the same angles that you would do if you were trying to get a card into a wallet, okay? So if you're already familiar with the move, <laughs> It's the same move, okay? So, uh, and I think if you and if you have difficulty with card to wallets, I think you're gonna have the same kind of difficulty with this. All right, so can it be inspected? Nothing about this trick can be inspected. The deck can't be inspected, and your wallet can't be inspected. Um, both of which um, would give away the trick if you were to hand this out. What's the overall quality and production value of the video? Uh, it's pretty much just Adam Elbaum standing against a wall, like me, <laughs> uh, speaking to the camera straight on. 
uh, everything is happening within a waist high frame and it's just a still shot camera uh, and so it's, it's really pretty basic. Uh, he spends about an hour and 54 minutes talking to you giving you pretty much everything you need to know. Uh, and that was something uh, within the teaching that I really appreciated. As far as the teaching goes, Adam has some really great ideas about Card the Wallet. And I think those ideas transcend this trick, okay? I've done Card to Wallets before, I own some gimmick wallets. I appreciated the things that Adam said and did as advice. Even some of the tips he gave about how to rig your wallet. I would transfer that teaching even to any other Card to Wallet. So if if this is something that's eluded you in the past and card to wallets haven't been your friend, I think Adam Elbaum has kind of, um, I don't know that he's harnessed it, but he's at least, he's at least modified it so that uh, it's a little bit more accessible to some of us who have that difficulty. I think if your major difficulty though is the move that it takes to get the card to the wallet, you're still going to have that difficulty. So I just want to prepare you, you're not escaping any of the previous difficulty by getting this. Is it well made? Everything is well made. It's a really cool deck of cards. Uh, I've never seen a deck of cards like this before and I'm trying to find it now, but you know, we'll see. Uh, the leather wallet is awesome. In fact, it's very similar to another load. It's very similar to another famous leather wallet that's out there for sale. It's just a little different, little different uh, modification to it, but you know, uh, but it's really well made. I like the fact that it has one additional um, panel in there for more cards. I think one of the things that Magic Wallets tend to not have is enough slots for all your credit cards, and this one has the extra slots, so I like that. Um, I would really use this as my everyday wallet. There's that opportunity, I think, um, more so than maybe some of the other wallets that say can be your everyday wallet. This one I think really could be, uh, and it is well made. It's a nice black leather wallet. How much setup and reset is there? The same as any other card to wallet again. So it's the element that went into your wallet, you're taking that back out, reloading it back in the deck, and then going on to your next performance. Positives, what are the positives to this? I think it takes a nice spin on the classic card to wallet uh, and moves it kind of a little into a side jog, almost over into a mentalism because you're just asking the spectator to think of any card. And just the fact that they can think of any card and there's no force, there's really no force, there's no equivocate, there's nothing like that. Just the fact that you're letting them think of any card and then that card magically appears written down in your wallet, that's awesome. So it's a card to wallet, but it's also mentalism coming together, cool. All right, so what are the negatives? What are the negatives to Awestruck? You know, like we say around here, there's negatives to everything. These are just the negatives that I see. They don't have to be the negatives that you see. Uh, I was disappointed that it was a card to wallet. <laughs> I was disappointed that it was just a standard card to wallet trick. Uh, they, those tricks have always kind of, you know, eluded me in the past. I don't have the necessary skill set uh, needed to do the, the move. Uh, I get found out. It's, it's, it's hard for me to practice. I've never found a comfortable way to do it, but I did appreciate Adam's teaching. I, and I'm going to practice this and, and keep at it, and hopefully uh, his teaching will work with some of my other card to wallets, but that was really my only negative. Is it worth your money? It's 50 bucks. $50 because you are getting a real leather gimmicked wallet and you're going to be able to use this wallet for other card to wallet style effects. I don't know that Adam goes into those um, for you. He doesn't say, and you can use it for this. But I think if you're an experienced magician, you'll see the benefits in the wallet without having to be told. You'll recognize some of its characteristics and you'll be able to, I think, utilize this wallet for other card to wallet effects. So is it worth your money? I think it's definitely right in the pocket. 50 bucks for a leather wallet and a deck of cards um, and an hour long DVD, especially when I'm saying that, you know, some of that teaching I think will transfer to your other card to wallet effects. I think this is definitely uh, worth the price. Who would like this? People that love gimmick wallets. There are people out there that collect these wallets. <laughs> so I think this is an, a neat one to throw out there. So I think definitely if you collect the, the card to wallets, this is one to collect. Um, I, anybody who's looking for a card to wallet and maybe want something a little bit different, mentalist, here's your opportunity to have a card to wallet uh, right here. So I think this definitely speaks to mentalists who maybe have not done a card to wallet in the past because they've always thought it was a card trick. This actually makes it a mentalism effect. All right, so that was Awestruck from Adam Elbaum and Vanishing Incorporated. I want to thank Murphy's Magic for providing this for us so that we could review it for you. And if you want to purchase your own, you can find it at your favorite Murphy's Magic dealer. Thanks. Bye.